Her mouth may be covered, but she won't be silenced. When Kenza Dryder stepped out in the full Islamic veil on Monday, she risked a 150 euro fine and a course on French culture and values. Face coverings are now forbidden from being worn in public places in France. But Dreider says she will not obey the new law. If they ask me for my ID, I will show them. There's no problem. I will raise my niqab so that they can identify me. Then I will put it back in its place, but I won't take it off. And she's not alone. A small group gathered in front of the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral on Monday in protest of the law they say incites Islamophobia. We should be free to practice our religion because it's our democratic right. It didn't take long for the small protest to cause a scene. But it wasn't so much their defiance of the new law that was attracting attention. All eyes were on how the police would react. Eventually they intervened, taking two women to a local police station. But the women were quickly released and the officers said they were only detained because their protest hadn't been authorised. It was the first test of the new law and it showed the potential difficulties of enforcing it. Police guidelines say face veils must not be forcibly removed and to only make an arrest in extreme cases. The instructions given to the police department are to be flexible and try to educate people, but it's almost impossible to enact. We are caught between a rock and a hard place. Either we intervene, and this will almost certainly lead to a conflict, or not intervene, which is unthinkable for a policeman. The law doesn't just apply to the women donning the attire. Men can also face punishment if they force family members to cover their faces, risking up to one year in prison and a 30,000 euro fine, double if the woman is under 18. The law's defenders say they're protecting women's rights. We voted in favour of this law in the name of gender equality. While France has one of the largest Muslim communities in Europe, only around 2,000 women wear the full face veil. And the government has been criticised as just trying to score the far-right vote ahead of presidential elections next year, with a law that only applies to a minority and may prove difficult to enforce.